It's been good. Uh, got my first child this off season, so that's always a plus. I mean, uh, the labor situation was a roller coaster, but he's good. He's healthy. She's healthy, so it was good. How are you feeling physically? Good. Feeling good physically. Ready to go out there and play. How challenging was last year for you? When you kind of you have obviously the optimism going into year two, and then the injury side on you for It was. It was really. It was really like. Just a lot of adversity, you know, like just a lot to come from, like just trying to come better than what you did the rookie year and then just to get hurt and be out all season. It's it's a lot. It's a lot to handle, but I'm definitely coming back with that chip on my shoulder. So Makai, how how is your knee now? Like where where is it? It's good. It's good. It's getting better. Getting getting the strength back in it. And there's so much talk about, you know, where you are physically, like where are you at conditioning wise? Are you close to being ready to I feel like I'm close, yeah. 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 How much do you weigh now? Uh, I'm not saying numbers right now. I'm not giving up numbers. Are you satisfied with Yeah, I'm satisfied now? where I'm at. Me and the coaching staff. You're, you're a guy who's active on social media. And you see people say, you said you have to come back with a chip on your shoulder. Is part of that some of the doubts that some people have in you? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And when you Definitely. read that stuff, how do you? I mean, it's just it's just add fuel to the fire, honestly. That's all they do. Kai, at the end of the season, Robert, you know this, so I'm just repeating it, but he said that the way George played so well at left tackle that it was going to be an open competition between you and George at left tackle. Um, what was your reaction to that? It's, it's football. I mean, we always going to compete no matter what. I mean, I'm just going to have to go out there and get my job back. Do you anticipate being this team's left tackle? Yeah. Are you open to playing on the right side? I mean, I'm open to playing wherever, as long as I'm on the field. What, um, what's the story behind your shirt? Uh, it's just, you know, it's a lot of words I've been called my whole life, so put it on the shirt. Just kind of like what you're saying about the chip. Yeah. Right yeah. Do you feel like you, like, it's funny, Makai, like, two years ago, you're the first round pick. Everybody, it was a lot of praise and this guy with potential, and then last year was different. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like people have kind of written you off already? You yeah, know? and I don't, I don't understand why, but it's all good though. I'm gonna make them eat their words. Makai, what would you like Jets fans to know about your attitude, your work ethic, and your goals for this year? I'm coming back to try to be the best I can be. As simple as that. I mean, I ain't finna sit here and put myself and say, I'm going to get these accolades, get this accolades. Now I'm just going to come out there and be the best I can. Did you ever think you were going to come back last year? Because I, I think at the time they said four to eight weeks, something like that. Did you think? You yeah, I was I was working for it, but then uh, just hit a wall and I couldn't get the strength that I wanted and strength that I needed to go out there and perform like I perform. How much of a challenge has it been? Because, I mean, everyone we talk to, whether it's Robert or uh, Mike and, and those guys, I mean, they all praise you for your size and how big you are and how massive you are. I mean, how difficult is it to be somebody that big, but then also find a way to find that happy place of where you be big but not too big? It's not that hard. I mean, you just got to eat right. And that's what I be doing. That's what I always do. And drink a lot of water. And mind my business. What is your experience in high school, college of playing right tackle? Did you have any time there? Yeah, I mean, I was—I actually started off as a right tackle, and then I moved over to left. But I mean, I can play whatever. What was the timetable on that high school early in Louisville, and what was your right tackle time like? Uh, played right tackle probably my freshman, sophomore year in high school, and then left tackle for the rest. And then Louisville, my first two years, we actually switched sides. So it was a strong tackle and a weak tackle. So I played left and right in the same game a lot. Would, so. it, be, would it be tough, Makai? Like, just for those of us who haven't played tackle, is it tough to go left to right? Or is no, it I just got to work on it. Just working it, basically. Mm -hmm. Was the reason you decided during the voluntary workouts to work out in Dallas simply because you were going to become a dad, or, or, was, or were there other reasons? No, but I'm having a kid, bro. Yeah. Right. You knew that. Right. Yes. Yeah, I know. How good can this offensive line be, and how important are you <clears> and your <throat> success to this line being very, very solid? I mean, this, I feel like this offensive line could be really well. I mean, I got to come in and 
pick up where they left off and not try to mess up anything they got going. So I'm going to try to just try to fill in as best as I can. You talked about going through that adversity last year. How did you get through that mentally without you know going to a dark place or a bad place? I just look forward to my son being born every day, honestly. And on your Twitter account, you have the same thing that's on your shirt. Is, is it you like kind of want to be constantly reminded of what people are saying, or it's motivation? No, it's just motivation. That's all it is. Has it changed your mindset as you're preparing for the year? You know, because like the, I think Brian said, like year one, you're the first round pick. Year two, you're coming in with so much hype after a good first season where. Now maybe the good feels aren't there as much. Like, does that change how you are preparing? Like, do you feel different going into this year than years past? No, no. I just come in prepared, ready to play. But kind of with the injury last year, was there a setback along the way? Was it was the initial timeline too optimistic that that they they said publicly? I mean, it's just I was just trying to get mostly my my like range of motion back, and I got <coughs> the range of motion, but I didn't have the strength. So that's that was the real big problem. Feel like you're able to do everything right now. Mm-hmm. So your expectation is when camp comes, day one, you'll be on. Yeah. Time. What is your plan for the the gap between uh, mini camp and training camp? I'll keep working out. Simple. You have like a team in Texas. We know Duke. You know, is the offensive line group, but yeah, I got a team in Texas. Yeah, got. Got two personal trainers and Duke. You obviously weren't on the field last year, but do you feel like you were able to learn the offense more and you feel like you have a better grasp of it? Yeah. You're learning a new offense for anybody going in, but a better grasp than now than you had a year ago? Yeah, I feel like I do. And how do you think that will help you? Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just one less thing I got to worry about when I come back. Like, if I know my plays, I'll, I'll be fine. I just got to get the steps down once I get back. Can you just talk about the addition of Lincoln Tomlinson and how having a veteran guy like that potentially playing next to him and how that can help you? Uh, it can help me out a lot because he knows a lot of things that I don't. Uh, I know some. I probably know some things that he don't. So we can get to know each other and get to give give people give each other different things every now and then. I mean, he feel like I mean he already shown that he's a leader of this group, so it's helping out a lot. Okay, you talked about being excited to become a dad. How has have, you know, having a baby just sort of changed your perspective on, on life and, and being an athlete too? It's, it's great. It's a, it's, a, it's a great feeling, like no better feeling than being a dad and just holding him for the first time. Like, I can't explain it, honestly.